What makes an organism an animal? We all recognize this lizard as an animal, and this rabbit, and this goat. This fish is an animal, but so is the coral it is swimming through. And so is this sea anemone, this sea urchin, and these jellyfish. We may start by saying that animals reproduce but so do all other organisms. We could say that animals are complex and made of many cells or multicellular, and that these cells all have a nucleus or are eukaryotic. This is true, but applies to more organisms than just animals. We could say that animals evolve or change over time, but all organisms do this too. We could say that animals move but would find this to be untrue, as some animals, like coral, sponges, and these mussels, are sessile, meaning they spend their lives attached to a surface. We could say that animals obtain and use energy, but once again, this statement applies to all organisms. So what makes animals unique? Animals, unlike this plant, cannot carry out photosynthesis to make their own food. Plants are classified as autotrophs. Troph means nourish and auto means self. Therefore, they nourish themselves. Animals, on the other hand, must obtain energy by eating. This makes them heterotrophs. Animals that eat autotrophs, like plants, are called herbivores. These are our vegetarians. Animals that eat other heterotrophs are called carnivores. These are what we think of as the meat eaters. Animals who eat both autotrophs and heterotrophs are called omnivores. Humans are an example of omnivores. This bun is derived from an autotroph and the hot dog came from another heterotroph. Finally, some animals are decomposers who feed on dead or dying organisms. However, animals are not the only heterotrophs. Fungi, like mushrooms, bread mold, and ringworm are heterotrophic too. There is one more factor we need to look at to distinguish animals from other heterotrophs like fungi. And to do this, we have to really zoom in to the level of a single cell. Animal cells lack a cell wall. Cell walls are present in plants and fungi, but not in animals. In conclusion, we can classify animals as eukaryotic, multicellular heterotrophs lacking cell walls who reproduce and evolve.